Today we're going to learn how to type pinyin on Mac. So we just have to add our keyboard first. In the top left, click on the Apple logo, select System Preferences, and then click on Keyboard. Then you'll see Input Sources, so select that. In order to add a language, you click on the plus button, and you can either scroll or type looking for Chinese Simplified. So select that, click Add, and now you've got your keyboard. You may be wondering why we chose the simplified character keyboard rather than traditional, and that's because that's most commonly used in mainland China, and it's also easier to learn because it's got fewer strokes, while the traditional keyboard is typically used in Taiwan. So in order to type in Pinyin now that you've got the keyboard, go up to where the little American flag is, click on that, and then select Pinyin Simplified, and now you've got your keyboard ready to go. So for example, let's try Ni Hao. Go ahead and type out the whole word with no spaces, and you may notice that the computer automatically added a space between the words, for example, Ni and Hao. This is normal, and you don't have to add that yourself. You'll see the character list appear, and at this point, it'll be helpful for you to be able to recognize basic characters. The nice thing about the character list is it does show characters in order of how frequently they are used. So in order to select those characters, you can just press the number one on your keyboard or you can click on the character directly. And there you go. And let's try another one. Let's do Han Yu. And again, just click one or select it on your keyboard. So some words in Mandarin are spelled with an umlaut, for example, nu shi, which means miss. And in order to use the yu umlaut, which we don't have on our standard keyboard, we just type in a v in place of it. I'll show you what happens if you type in n u. You'll see that I have this set of characters, and none of these are the right characters for miss. So if I type in a v, it automatically changes it to yu umlaut, and type out the rest of the word. And now I have the right characters for miss. There are four letters for which this rule doesn't apply, and those are J, Q, X, and Y. And that's because those letters will never be followed by a U with the umlaut. So now that you've got your keyboard all set up and ready to go, and you know the typing tricks, go forth and type your hearts out in pinyin. Thanks for watching. Do you like our video? Did you learn anything fun? Be sure to hit like and subscribe to our channel to get the latest video updates and be sure to leave your comments below. If you feel like you've learned something from this video, one of the best ways to practice is to go into the Mango course to form new sentences and new thoughts. Click the link on your screen to try it out.